Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Name weather rates most accurate forecast since 2008. Well, good morning. It is a colder start to the day today with temperatures that are sitting in the 20s and near 30 this morning. Now, that's really not saying too much because we started off in the 40s and 50s yesterday, so we were bound to not do that again. Let's take a look at some numbers as you're leaving. Williamsport at 29, Pottsville near 30, Mount Pocono 25, and Sealands Grove. At 29. Now let's compare it to this time yesterday, and the temperature is running a good 10 to 25 degrees lower compared to 24 hours ago. So significantly colder as you're stepping outside, and the whole day itself is just going to be colder all around as you're going out this afternoon or this evening. Now the wind is picking up a little bit. Yesterday we didn't have it that much for the first part of the day, but now we're starting to see that wind everywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour. So that is making it feel. A little bit more like it's in the teens in some spots this morning. Now, as far as our radar is concerned, we do have some snow showers back into central Pennsylvania. Those aren't amounting to too much as of right now. But something we do need to watch out everywhere for is a little icing in some spots. Generally, it is pretty isolated, but if the road appears wet, you have to watch out for that because the temperature has dropped below freezing this morning. Now, we take this out for a wider view. There's those snow showers, a few more further back into western Pennsylvania. But the farther east that these try to go, the more they will fall apart. Though a few flurries and a snow shower are in the cards for today, they really won't amount to too much of anything. Now, the temperature is going to end up sitting right around the lower, mid, and the upper 20s today. A couple of spots are going to end up pushing near 30. And then by the middle of the afternoon and this evening, we are well down into the 20s again before we drop back into the single digits through the night tonight. We actually do try to get a little sunshine today. Now, that flurry or snow shower to watch out for, but toward the end of the day, those clouds will try to break up just a little bit more. Then an area of high pressure that builds in tonight will help clear out that sky a little bit, but it doesn't stick around very long because we have a weak clipper system headed our way for tomorrow. Now that's mainly just going to bring the cloud cover back, but also an isolated snow shower can't be completely ruled out. Same thing will happen on Sunday. Another weak clipper comes through. That'll fire off a snow shower or a couple of flurries through Sunday afternoon, but that's not going to cause any problems for the weekend. Now, going into Monday and Tuesday, there is another storm system we are watching. This is a little bit more of a potent clipper system that's going to come through. So, late Monday into Tuesday, that's the rough timing on this right now. We're still trying to iron out some details, so keep checking back for updates on that. And then after that, there is a big drop. In the temperature coming. Let's talk about today, though, first in the eyewitness weather forecast. We'll drop to right around 24 by 8 o'clock and then make it back near 30 today. There's some sunshine, but also remember through the first half of the day, especially, there will be a flurry or snow shower. Eight for the overnight low tonight. It is partly cloudy. It's colder. So tomorrow morning, if you're waking up, it's pretty frigid. The wind does relax a little bit more tonight, though, which is good. 24 for the high tomorrow. Sunday, we're at 36. And we just sort of seesaw the temperature through early next week, bouncing between the 20s and 30s. Monday is when that next storm system is set to arrive. Not until very late in the day, though, and into Tuesday. So that's something you'll want to check back for updates on. And then there's the big Arctic blast for Wednesday and Thursday. Temperature will be fighting for a majority of the day to even get out of the single digits and then overnight lows are actually dropping below zero. And you can always download the guy with this weather app to get your latest updates on the weather. Don't forget that the forecast is always available for you at pahomepage.com. So we're just going back and forth with the temperature over the next couple of days and what we end up seeing with that is refreezing of things again. So that's what we're seeing this morning on some roadways. We saw that accident in Susquehanna County and that is possible elsewhere today. Anything that maybe melted yesterday and didn't dry out is refreezing this morning. Well, I'm sure a lot of that rock salt was probably washed away. That with was all the of problem the rain. yesterday. Rain washes the rock salt and then everything just refreezes. Starting over again with yeah. the treatment. So, yeah. good to know. Thanks, Stephanie.